Apocalypse. What is up guys and gals, Space Unicorn here, bringing you some hot frag action. So today, we're going to do our final thoughts on Sombrero. <clears throat> but before we do that, if you guys give me a huge favor and a like, comment, subscribe to the videos, your support is genuinely appreciated and it really drives me to make more and better content because you guys make it worthwhile. So, that being said, let's get into some matches here. <clears throat> Probably going to play one to two matches while we talk about them. I did put the ninja skin on them because the ninja skin is like actually sick, so... We had to get that. So here we go. Good luck is my opponent. All right, good luck. Let's see what you can do, buddy. But well, you are facing some brown. All right, so first things first with this card. The design on this card is phenomenal. I do really, really like it. But it has a couple of pretty, well, how should we say, sizable flaws. Um, the first of is the primary fire. Doesn't work all that well. Cybercop. I like the Cybercop play here, buddy. Nice. Different. Ooh. He comes around with the BB. Interesting play there. I don't know if I like that choice. What are you trying to do, buddy? What are you trying to do? Get him off the field real quick. Grab our Sombrero again. Issue this attack. A lot of health here on this guy. Thankfully, though, this guy doesn't know how to play him. Alright, so... While our cards push through here, the next thing we need to talk about with Sombrero is the primary fire. This is a major shortcoming for this character. He just simply put isn't designed to really dish out the damage the way you would want him to. I mean, like, it's not. It really is pretty poor, but. It's not, like, as bad as it could be, but it's, it's not great. He, his fire is just a touch too slow if for the damage he's putting out. His damage isn't bad, but you kind of have to... You kind of... How do I put this? You kind of have to um, put it out a little faster than you are in order to get the best value out of it. I know that sounds a little weird, but that's just a simple truth. Now, let's push over here. This guy is tunnel visioned on my towers, so this is going to be an easy one. Let's click here, go back to Sombro, since he should be on respawn. Now, next thing we need to talk about Sombro is his health. His health is really low for being as slow as he is. Um, he has a very slow card at 11. Like 11 used to be pretty quick, now not so much. There's a lot of cards that are operating in that 12 to 14 range, and a couple that are operating above that. So you kind of have to remember that when you play the cards. But Enough negative about the card. Let's talk the positives on this card now. As soon as we get into this next match, we will talk positivity with you guys. My allergies are killing me, literally. Um, so, let's click here. Next thing we need to talk about with this guy, like I said before, is the good. There is good with this card, and there's a lot of it, actually. So, first good thing about this card, real really good thing about this card, is the ult. The ultimate ability on this card is really, really good. And I really quite like it. I really do. I know you're there. <laughs> Let's grab Lucha Boy. Two. Field. 
come here, hit this tower, grab our Sombro again. So, Sombro. Um, next good thing about this guy, besides the ultimate, is the character design on this card is phenomenal. He is one of the better designed characters that I, I really do have a genuine like for this card's design. I think it is quite well done. Now, his alt is a little confusing to understand, I will say that. Like, that's not necessarily a bad thing, it just means that it's tricky to understand. Get those on the field. So, whenever you pop your ult, I'll explain it to you guys so you guys can understand it a bit better. Whenever you pop your ultimate ability with this card, in order to... Well, got our Lucha here. Knew that was coming. Grab Queen Unicorn. So whenever you pop the ultimate ability with that card, you have to time it correctly so that things, um, so that kills happen essentially. The card is very dependent upon if it gets a kill uh, during its ultimate ability, and if it does, then you're good. If not, you'll struggle with it. All right. We're waiting for him to respawn here, then we can talk about the last thing we want to touch on with this card. <laughs> and last but not least with Sombro, guys, is he's fun. The, the ultimate ability and learning how to time it is actually pretty darn fun. Oh. And right there, we just got spawns. If I can kill this guy quick enough, but I'm not going to be able to because Paku has crazy health. He's dead. And that is all she wrote for this opponent. Uh, GG is to Big Stick Bill. I've played him before. Um, but that's Sombro, guys. And my final thoughts are, honestly, he is probably... I would, I'm going to say he is a low A-grade hero. His primary fire is the thing that's holding him back. Um, if he either got a prime, if he got a fire buff or a health buff, he would probably be an S grade, but he's only A. His alt is a lot of fun, um, but primary fire needs some work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe down there. I will see you, Legends, next